Warning, not all exercises are suitable for everyone and this or any other exercise program may result in injury. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before beginning this or any other physical fitness program. And the user of this program assumes the full risk of injury resulting from performing the routines presented within this video. Hello, I'm Sergeant Sabah Johnson. Welcome to Fitness with the First Responder. Having 18 years on the fire department in Detroit, I recognize the importance of being prepared as a first responder. Today, I'd like to share with you one of the workout routines we do at my fire station to help us perform our duties and maintain our fitness. Hi, Siobhan. We're ready to work out. I'm ready also. First, let me explain today's workout called S1 Circuit 7. Normally performed two times a week, this routine is designed to condition your cardio and emulate practical body movements. The circuit is comprised of seven stations, each targeting different muscle groups. Each station requires one minute of exercise performed at high intensity. 15 seconds of rest is provided as you transition to the next station. The workout is completed once three sets are executed, allowing two minutes rest between sets. The battling rope exercise is performed using a large diameter rope, or in this example, a 50 foot length of one and a half inch fire hose. Start with your knees slightly bent and your back straight. Using your arms, make alternating waves, either big or small, at a rapid speed. This is primarily a core and cardio conditioning exercise. Here we have the box jump. This is a plyometric exercise that's great for your legs and create an explosive power. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, facing a stable platform at least 12 inches in height. Bend at the knees, jump up quick, and land softly on the platform. Pause for a second or two, then hop down with both feet, or step down with one foot at a time. The kettlebell swing. This exercise works many muscle groups simultaneously. Perform this by squatting and grabbing the kettlebell with one hand or two. Keeping the knees bent and the back straight, swing the weight back between the legs. Using your hips, thrust the bell forward while your arms work only as a pendulum. Let the weight naturally arc, then swing back down in between your legs. Next is speed punching. This is great for cardio and shoulder development. In a boxer's stance, throw rapid punches while holding lightweight dumbbells in each hand. Vary your punches between jabs, crosses, and even uppercuts. Maintain a quick and steady breathing rate and have fun with it. Sledgehammer swing has many muscle groups, shoulders, core, legs, and back to name a few. Start with the shoulder width stance. Hold the sledgehammer with one hand near the head and the other at the foot of the hammer. Raise the sledgehammer over one shoulder and swing downward while sliding your upper hand to meet your lower hand. Strike the tire with force and repeat for 30 seconds, then switch to the opposite shoulder. Muay Thai knees. Begin in a staggered stance with one foot behind the other. Bring the rear leg forward and raise your knee high while contracting your core muscles. Simultaneously, bring both hands down to meet your elevating knee. Return the foot and hands to the starting position. Repeat for 30 seconds, then switch to the opposite side or alternate singularly for one full minute.
Now is the familiar crunch exercise. Elevate your feet or place them on a stable object. Using your core muscles, roll your shoulders off the ground while exhaling. Pause in the top position, then inhale as you lower back to the start position. Be careful not to pull with your head as you may strain your neck. Now that we've taken a look at the seven stations, are you ready to begin? Great. Remember to work at your own pace, take breaks as needed, and stay hydrated. Let's get started. Three, two, one. 